Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Biff Spaffington. We're here with my partner, Buff Spiffington, and we're here with your morning news at midnight. And it is morning. Don't try to correct me. This just in, a fun toy has been banned because of three stupid dead kids. The toy, the Aqua Assault Robo Fighters, recently came out on Monday. But 247,000 units were recalled due to three dumb kids managing to kill themselves playing with the popular toy, ruining the fun for everybody else. Now, isn't that just sad? Oh, I am so torn up. That is just, is unbelievably sad. I can't believe the kind of dark, twisted we have to put up with today with ISIS and What has this world people. come to? Anyways, President Weiler said shortly before dying, the kids had tried to shoot themselves in the nose with the missiles in the hopes that would travel through their body and out their belly buttons. Now, I believe this is a very plausible and realistic world that we live in, and I would have done the same thing. Never taken an anatomy class, I would definitely believe that would happen, wouldn't you say? Is this absolutely something that you have done? You know, my sister used to have Barbie shoes, and I would shove those in my Those are some dark times in my life. But I have a quote here from Dr. Ernestine Hunt about the very tragic incident. I've heard some pretty stupid shit in my time, but that has to take the cake, said the physician. Why would any kid think he could fire plastic missiles up his nose and expect them to come out his belly button? Children are stupid. What? <coughs> Dumbasses. There is no point in feeling bad about this child's demise because the deck was obviously stacked against him from the start. Now, I don't play card games very much, so I would have no idea what that terminology is referring to. <laughs> but I do know this. My heart goes out to all those families that have lost their kids in quite, might I say, a, a very stupid way. And God rest their souls. Now, Buff Spiffington will come at you with some very invigorating news. Indeed, Biff. So... As I have found out earlier today, a man continued to slowly drift into the middle of the restaurant when, get this, the hostess didn't show up. Unbelievable. To tell him where to go. It's I, unbelievable. I, I, absolutely. I, I was, thought we lived in a world looked over by God, but I guess I, God has abandoned us I, in you this know, time. Is there a God? Are you there? How could you not have helped this man, this 31 year old man? He said, someone's going to eventually realize that I'm here and point me into the right direction. I have to take a side on this one. I think he was very justified in that if, hey, the service wasn't there, you just got to gotta be direct. You got to be forward with it. I absolutely agree. You know, props to this man. Props to this man. He's a hero. He is a hero. He's, he's a hero. All right. Well, we will come back to you later, but for now, we will cut to... Our sportsman. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Thanks, Biff. I'm the sports guy. Today, we're talking about America's favorite pastime. ISIS. That's international, slow, idiotic snails. And here we are on a beautiful sunny day for the snail championship in 2016. Here we go with Gerald. He's a snail master. He's actually very nice. He uh, invited me over to dinner. Uh, just the two of us. It was really nice. Um, so now let's turn it over to Gerald to see what snail racing is to him. I think people love snail racing because it doesn't cost a penny. You can you can race the snail and end up being and end up being a world champion at the end of the day. And how exciting is that? Um. Oh. All right. Well. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, there's Bernie Sanders. There's the devil worship circle. That snail wants red licorice. That hand. See, I'm a sidekick. That hand doesn't want him to have it. Let's see who won. And the winner is Rocky! (laughs) 
Speaking of snails, this week at our local Fight Club, someone set the- DON'T TALK ABOUT FIGHT CLUB! What are you doing, man? You can't just talk about Fight Club like that! Holy Oh! Oh my! Oh! I'm talking about Fight Club. And welcome back. It is I, the most important one here, Buff. And Biff. We don't care. Hey. Anyway, moving on now to a important news story. This is for all of you youngsters out there who are glued to your computer screens. Alright, it was Tuesday. Chelsea Green was staring at her laptop, as most of us do, when suddenly she accidentally closes all 23 of her window browsers. Now, she looked at her screen, which was probably reflecting herself in a blank state, and she said, Oh dear God, I am free. Now that is just a story of pure enlightenment. Not only for her, but for all of us as bystanders of this event. I cannot even fathom what kind of burden must have been lifted off that woman's shoulders. Imagine having 20, 20, what was the number here? 23. 20 freaking three. That's over 21. Uh, Windows open, including Facebook, Reddit, CNN, OkCupid, Gmail, X videos, you name it. Meatspin.com. She lost all of it. She lost all of it. It's making me, I'm sorry. I'm truly inspired. Hey. I'm so. It's all right. I look up to you, so I'm, I'm literally looking up to you right now. You, you just do look it. down on me all the time, though, because you think I'm so obsessed with Facebook. All right. Well, as she goes through some tough times, I am here with your quote of the week and your weekly horoscope. Uh, quote of the week here comes from a very famed philosopher. I have studied him very deeply in my studies at my high school and college. By all known laws of aviation, there is no way bees should be able to fly. Now for your horoscope. This is for all you Sagittarius people out there, because I'm Sagittarius and I believe that we are very important at this time of the year. You always wondered which of your sins would send you to hell, but you never thought it would be tipping Roger 234 on a $60 check. Now I am, I'm a victim of this. I recently tipped a man named Roger 234 on a $100 check. And that was, that was a low point in my life. It was this Monday actually. And I probably, I, I probably killed him to be honest. That's his job and he lives in poverty. Probably can't afford his groceries anymore. I'm sure you did him justice, Biff. I hope so. His well, children now, are starving. They are. They are. Well, now we're going to go to Chad Chatterson on the street. Chad, take it away. All right. Thanks, Biff. Today I'm going to be showing you the vast grandness of Grand Rapids. And uh, we're going to be going to some bars. We're going to be having some. Oh, oh excuse me, I'm getting, getting a call. Oh it's, oh, it's the boy. Let me. Let me. Hey, honey. No, no, it's. No, I, we're, we're, on, we're live. No, no, just, no, just, no, just do it right no, now. No. It's fine. It's, we're live. Well. Uh -huh. I don't want to be married to you. Yeah? No. It's, babe, it's babe. It's no. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Hey guys, Biff Baffington here with Guy Fieri, and we're gonna do some cooking today. I'm a PA. Cook, shut up. But I'm supposed to be. I'm no. No, you're a woman, you know how to cook. Isn't that right, Patricia? So, show us what we're making today. So today, we're gonna make... We're gonna make roast. And to start off, you take your meat. Okay? Yeah. And you yeah. start... Just... Yeah. 
got to work. Yeah. All yeah. The, all the kinks out of it. Yeah, need that. So that shit. you don't have any mistakes in it. Yeah. And nobody ends up where they shouldn't be. Damn right. And then you take some seasoning. Yeah, you take it. You need the best of ingredients when making anything. The very best. Because if something is where it doesn't belong, hold that. Okay, thank you. If something is where it doesn't belong, then things things don't un, uh, end up as good as things could. Yeah. So, so after you have that, mm -hmm. you you take some frosting. Okay. And now, you you want to already have your oven preheated, nope. but because we're <clears throat> because we're live, we don't have ours preheated. I'm feeling alive right now. So, so we're just gonna put it in the oven and pretend. Okay. You paying attention, folks? This is groundbreaking. We're gonna go live, like, when are we going live? We got time, right? I think we got some time. They're not, they're not, we're not live, are we? No? Okay, cool. Good. Yeah. More rock. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! Ah! I hate it when your roach runs away. No! <laughs> no! What were you talking about? Like orphanages burning down or some shit? Yeah. Okay, this isn't working. You what? Know what? It's just. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Warm them up. Fuck. The wife left me. Took the kids too. Oh, wait. Oh, you alive? Okay. Hello, I'm Chad Chatterson. Welcome to the night, the six o'clock news at seven. Uh, today, we're. What does the matter? She fucking left me with the kids. God damn it. She left, she left me for some John. Man, what the fucking kids took me, shook me, shook everything I had. Some bitch. Just, just kill me. Just, I don't even care about this job. Ugh. On Sunday, it's going to be 32 and sunny. On Monday, 34 and sunny. Tuesday, it's going to be 75 with a chance of snow. Wednesday, 35 and snowing. Thursday, 37. And it's going to rain. It's going to rain water. You know, you know who drinks water? My boyfriend! But then he broke up with me! It was water. I just, I need a second. I need a, there's only two days left. I just need one second. One second. Okay. So on Friday, <laughs> I don't know what's 
gonna happen. But I'm gonna be single. <laughs> That's really single. <laughs> I don't even like this job. We're living in the city. I don't even like Kibaka. Okay. I just need to. I just need to sit down. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna go to politics now. Hope you enjoyed the weekly weather forecast. I'm Biff Spaffington, and that was our news lady, whose name I still don't have no idea. We probably won't be working here for much longer. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go. We'll we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Not politics! Why? Not politics! Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Why? So back to the news! <laughs> the news! more money. Alright, that's it. I'm, I'm getting it. Right, let's, let's go. Let's get going. Stop the news. I can quit. Where am I? Cool. Uh, 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 where's that? Where's, where's that? Whoa, whoa. No, get away from me. Get away. Oh man, I quit. Oh man. No, babe, just, just let me, just, 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 just let me talk to her. Hey, 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 baby. Hey, no, no, dad, dad's gonna be, dad's gonna be home. Oh, sh**, yo, Cheetos. Dad, no, dad, dad is, dad's gonna be home soon. No, I, I love you. No, 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 don't talk to your mom. She's a, she's a, your mom, your mother's a, don't even talk. Oh, dear God, is he? Yeah, he's shirtless. Oh. <clears throat> he's shirtless, all right. What's he, what's he doing to that dog? Oh, maybe we should. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Oh, maybe you should that cut out. that. That was a cut. That was a definite. Oh boy! Stop rolling, guys. Stop. Well, um, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you all enjoyed the morning news at midnight. I'm Biff Spaffington, and this is Buff Spiffington, and you know, we're out. We're out.